and welcome to the Bay Country Gentlemen's original production of The Toy Shop. Tonight's performance is dedicated to children everywhere and in loving memory of a child and all of us over the age of adults. On behalf of the Bay Country Gentlemen, their wives, the lighting, stage, and sound effects crews, and everyone whose efforts contributed in making this production possible, I would like to wish each and every one a very Merry Christmas. Santa visits all the houses of the children who've been good all year long and brings them presents. Yeah, uh huh, we know. Well, I heard a story at work of these two children who didn't believe in Santa Claus, and they waited up all night to see if he would show up. And you know what? No, what? What happened then? Well, Santa Claus knew those kids didn't believe in him, and he passed right over their house without leaving a thing, not even a crumb. What do you think? I'm not taking any chances. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Me either. Good night, Dad. Good night, Mom. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Oh, you think I should read him a story before bed, huh? Sure. Are you coming to bed here? In a minute. All righty, let's settle down. Now, what story will it be tonight? Tell us more about the old toy maker. The old toy maker. Funny thing, I just happen to have that one with me. Get yourself under the cover there now. We'll settle in for bed. Let's not kick old Jack off here. You can sleep up here. All right. You want to pay attention? All right, you're trying to stay awake this time. People have a nasty habit of falling asleep when I'm reading you. The old toy man. Once upon a time, there lived a toy maker. He was a good toy maker, one of the best. And because his toys were of such excellent quality and workmanship, Santa Claus would use his toys above all others to give to good children all over the world on Christmas Eve. Well, as the years passed and the population of the world grew, so did the need for more and more toys. The toy maker, working by hand, could only make so many toys during the year, while the toy manufacturers with their machines could produce toy after toy after toy. Santa, really having no choice, was forced to use the ready-made toys just to keep up with the demand. Only need half as many items this year, he wrote in a letter to the toy maker. 
The children just aren't playing with toys the way they used to. Well, this news really saddened the toy maker. He just couldn't believe the children had changed. Children don't change. One day, while he was working in his shop, Children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma and her kerchief, and I and my, and Ma and her kerchief, I forgot Ma. Oh, the light. toys were so concerned. You see, Santa's request for newer toys wasn't just from the fact that the toy maker couldn't compete with factory machines. It was the quality. It wasn't as good as it used to be. The toy maker couldn't help it. He was getting old and so forgetful. We toys didn't mind this so much. I mean, everything gets old. But, but gee whiz! If a toy breaks five minutes after taking it out of the box on Christmas morning, well, we toys have pride, you know. And the poor children's faces. We had to do something. We just had to. Oh, Tink, you know it's not time. Now, now please, go away. Please, please. Hey, hey, come hey. in. You're late today, aren't you? No, sir, I'm an hour early. Yeah, very good. I tell you, Dave, ain't nothing going right today. Gotta get these ties ready. Santa's coming, you know. Can't find that dang blasted screwdriver. I left it right here. Now, Dad, maybe I'll have to go over there. Is this it, sir? 
son of a gun. That's it. Well, thank you. Where's that toy? That's Dave. He cleans up the place at night. Makes us toys look real good for the customers. Dave's a swell guy. He's an orphan, you know. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, he, he... Now, Dave, you know it's not time to... No, please, go away, please. I wonder where that could be. Hey, with the shoes at the door. Yes, sir. Toy maker. Oh, thank you very much. When he told me it was cold here, poor scarf tonight. <laughs> Got a letter here for the toy maker from uh, uh, Mr. S. Floss. Oh, thank you, uh, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Oh, I believe I got one here from the gas and electric company, too. <laughs> Why, when Dave was old enough, he left the orphanage and went out in the world to live a life of his own. Dave tried many things before coming here to the toy shop. Dave felt sorry for the toy maker. He saw how forgetful and how old he had become, and he knew that was the reason for the decline in all the toy sales. He didn't understand all this business about elves and queens and and why a letter from this Mr. S. Claus should upset the toy maker so. It was just another order. Dave didn't understand. You see, at the orphanage, 
Christmas was just another day of the year. And for all Dave knew, this Mr. S. Claus was just someone else's father. He did know the difference between right and wrong, and when people were kind and when they weren't. The toy maker was kind. Dave really loved the toy maker. So, not only did Dave clean up the place at night, but he would fix the toys that the toy maker overlooked. Yeah, he found he had a talent with his hands and enjoyed fixing the toys. It made up for the time at the orphanage when there were no toys at all. Why, if it wasn't for Dave, many of us toys would be in the trash by now. And the toy maker would have went out of business a long time ago. One night, when Dave was looking for a thermal transducer, but, oh, you know, one of the parts for the remote. Yeah. He accidentally opened one of the toy maker's magic boxes. There was no ordinary powder in the box, but a magic sleeping powder. Why, the harder Dave worked, the drowsier he became. <sighs> I'll sit down for a minute before I finish cleaning up. Before he knew it, he was fast asleep. No one really knew what happened that night. No one but we toys. For you see it said, no good deed goes unrewarded.
And that's my royal can you've got there. Has anybody seen my pipe? Ahoy, me, honey! Start the moves! At that time already, I didn't get enough sleep. Oh, just take them out. Please, we have a slight problem. You see, the bunny rabbit seems to be lost. Does anybody know where he's supposed to be? He was Ooh, right here on the shelf with me last year. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> well, now that I have your attention, are there any problems we need to discuss before Santa arrives? <laughs> no, please, that won't do with dignity. Now, one at a time. Yes, little doll. What seems to be the problem? Well, I seem to be missing a button here. Oh dear me, that is a problem. Well, does anybody have a spare button? <laughs> oh, I got a button! Oh. oh, wait a minute! This can't be happening! What is going on? What is this place? It's the toy shop, Dave. Yeah, but you're all alive and talking. Well, we've always been alive for those who believe. The believe in what? That we can be, that we're real. Wasn't there a time when you believed, Dave? Oh, yeah, but that was a long time ago when I was just a child. Did you ever wonder why you stopped believing? Or is it just that you forgot to remember? Look around, Dave. We're still here, the bear and the rabbit and, and the doll. You see, they, the things of childhood don't change, people do. When you grow up, my dear, Thank you. 
when you were growing up. Whose toys? My toys? Hey, there weren't that you were lucky to have any toys. No toys you could call your own? Well, it was kind of boring. Well, it's not boring around here this time of year. This, this time of year? How do you toys know what time of year it is? Well, I know it's getting close to Christmas, but the toy maker puts a fresh coat of paint on me. And all around his painting, you can hear him whistling Christmas carols. And you can smell the aroma of fresh baked cookies in the air almost every day. Yeah, and instead of the <laughs> The aisles like sardines. Dave, how do you know when it's Christmas time? Well, everything just starts to look like Christmas. Colored lights shining all over town. Little boys and girls pressing their noses against the window to buy the ten cents to them. And toy shops filled with every kid's hopes and wishes. And it seems like everybody in town hangs the holly wreath on their front door all at the same time. Mom and Dad can hardly wait for school to start again. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And everywhere where you go, take a look at the five and ten, listening once again with Yankee Kings and Jumbling the go. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Oh, every store and every store, what the prettiest sight to see is the holly that will be on your own holly, on your own front door, from there on the little bar, a wish of a child, a wish of Barney and Ben, down the little bar, a hooper, a bar, a hope for Janice and Jen, mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas, everywhere, everywhere you go, there's a tree in the Grand Hotel, one in the park as well, the sturdy kind that doesn't mind the snow, mind the snow. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Soon the bells of bells will ring, and the thing that will make them ring is the carol that you sing right within your heart, right within. Time of the year when they mean so much to so many. Wait a minute, Melly. <laughs> I don't eat the human turkey, right? And I don't eat the human mashed potatoes for cranberry sauce, right? Besides, his mistletoe sticks in my teeth. <laughs> so how am I so bad if I ask them? Not to eat my chestnut. What, 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 what? Okay, okay, Stinky. If you can keep it to yourself, I'm 
going to let you in on a little secret. <laughs> you know when Mr. Claus loads his sleigh with all those toys and other goodies? Well, it would be pretty tough for his reindeer to pull them all over without a little morsel to eat now and again. You don't mean... Yep, all the world's creatures. We try to share what we can. So you see, even if I can't eat all those chestnuts, they'll still be with the good juice. And since it's Christmas, how would you guys like some chestnuts? Just 
on me. I tell you, I don't like that cold weather. Daryl, we get real brittle. That feels pretty good to me. Oh. <laughs> well, that might feel pretty good to you, but if I get too cold, my joint quit working. Oh, I'll tell you, sometimes the toy maker keeps it so hot in here, it feels like the whole toy shop is on fire! Where's the fire? the fire? There's no fire. Everything's all right. No fire? No fire. Okay. Well, that's all right. I wish I would go far. Oh, no, they were just kidding around. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> oh, that was refreshing. <laughs> you know, there's a misconception that all snowmen like winter. Well, that's not true. Well, it's not the cold, I might. If it wasn't for the cold, I wouldn't be here. But it's that wind. It, it blows my buttons off. Sometimes I can't light my pipe. It blew the snow in my eyes. One time, it even blew off my hat. Wow! And you know what? That's a nice looking hat. Can I ever lose this? Can I see it? No, hey, wait. Wow! This is great! You know, I haven't seen hats like these in a long time. Look at that hat, guys, huh? Great hat! Two of one? Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Come on. What happened? Holy crap! Please don't Whoa. take my hat off. Oh, I need to see. Oh, his head? Yeah. <laughs> okay. My hat, that's my spe- Show hat. Wow, that's really neat. Where did you get a hat? I better take care of this hat. It belonged to my uncle. Well, who's your uncle? Gee whiz, Dave. Everybody knows who his uncle was. Why, he was the greatest snowman of all time. You don't need that frosty the snowman's magic hat, do you? Of course. Ooh. Yeah. You know we used to read about him at the orphanage. Oh, yeah. That must be the magic silk top hat. <laughs> Uncle Frosty gave me this hat, and he told me that good things would always happen to me as long as I work, and I was never let go of them. And here all this time, I thought Frosty the Snowman was a very good Frosty the Snowman has a jolly happy soul, with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the Snowman has a fairy tale. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat they found. For when they placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty, so bad as alive as he could be. And the children say he could laugh and play just the same as you and me. Frosty the snowman and the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and we'll have some fun now before I melt away. Down to the village with a broomstick in his hand. Running here and there all around the square saying, catch me if you can. He let them down the streets of town right to that traffic cop. He only paused a moment when he heard him holler, stop, we stop for Frosty the Snowman, and to hurry on his way. So he waved goodbye, saying, don't you cry, I'll be back again someday. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, look at Frosty go. Thumpity, thump, thump, thumpity, thump, thump, over the hills of snow. different things to different people. 
just as it does to each one of us here at the toy shop. Why, so many of the traditions that people take for granted started years ago in different countries. Yeah, like the singing of Christmas carols and the sending of Christmas cards or customs that came from England. Yeah, and in Sweden, they hang their stockings on the chimney and hope that Christmas morning they find them full of candy. Yeah, and we do the same thing in home. Except we do it with our shoes. Tan bum, oh, tan bum. Did you know the decorated Christmas tree originated in Germany? And let me say, the exchanging of gifts was an old Roman custom of goodwill. And in South America and Australia, Christmas comes in the summertime and they celebrate with picnics and fireworks. <laughs> and up north, everybody dreams of snow. Oh. Gotta have snow! Yeah, you can say that again. Yeah, snow ball fights! And snow cones! And ice caps! And skiing! And sculpting snow statues! And tunneling! And footprints! And sleigh rides! It's simply grand, so I take my hand where we go out in the snow, just in the sleigh bell, jingling, ring, ring, jingling, too. Come on, it's lovely weather for sleigh ride together with you. Oh, bright and shiny, the elves go back. 
flying reindeer and things like that? They sure do where I come from. Leastways, they believe in the North Pole and Santa Claus. But I don't know about them reindeer. The way Santa gets around, he must have that sleigh hitched to eight of the finest Texas horses you ever saw. <laughs> no, no, this one's Texas. Now, do the kids down write letters to Santa Claus or tell them what they want for Christmas? And now, uh, and now, uh, do, 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 Will bring me what I want if I make a list? Well, now that depends. Have you been good? <laughs> you make people happy? How about me? And I have to thank for something to do. The same goes for you. Are you a good helper? Do you make people smile? Or do you cry and pout? All of you can write letters to Santa Claus. It makes no difference to him if you're Asian. American, European, black or white. So I'm sure it makes no difference if you're a doll, a toy, an animal, or whatever. Yes, you may all go ahead and write. Have you made out your list yet, partner? I never made one. I wouldn't know what to wish for. Well, what's important to you? If you could have anything you wanted right now, what would you wish for? Huh? Tough question. Besides, it's hard for me to understand it. You can wish for something, and it'll come to you. That's never happened to me in my whole life. Well, that's because you haven't believed it, partner. Santa Claus, wishes, presents. Christmas is not just a special time on the calendar. It's a special time because of how you feel. Go ahead, make a wish. Well. I wish I had a new pair of pants! <laughs> oh, look, everybody! Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. Now that's how you make a wish. When a star is born, they possess a gift or two. One of them is this, they have the power to make a wish come true. When you wish upon a
Dave, do you know what I like best about Christmas? Hmm, let me guess. I bet you like all the pretty music. Well, that's true. That's I'll tell you what I like best about Christmas, and that's getting lots of packages under that tree. My name on it. Me too. I like trying to find out what's in them big packages. <laughs> that reminds me. I've got to get started with my Christmas shop. Well, you better hop to it. <laughs> Snoopy goes to mall, big general store, and nothing on shelf. They've been scouted. <laughs> you mean nothing? I mean nothing. Manager say, man come, he know not who, by all little toy drummers, all milkmaids, all golden rings, everything in store. That's right. He said that he was going to have the best Christmas ever. And he had lots of gifts to give. I sure wish he knew my name. I gladly take someone to walk his head. How could anyone go about giving so many presents? <laughs> well, from your drumming, eleven pipers piping. That gives us ten more days to go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Four falling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Four falling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Six pieces of lane, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love gave to me seven swans a Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me eight hazel wings and a swimming. Six geese a lay, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies waiting, eight eggs of milking, seven swans a swimming, six pieces of lemon, five golden rings, four calling birds, three friends, and two turtle doves, and a partridge in the tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Ten lords of leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight cats of milking, seven swans of swimming. Six geese of laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French and two turtles. Christmas, my true love gave to me eleven pipers piping, ten lords of leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids of milking, seven swans a swimming.
sixties the lane Five golden rings Four calling birds, three French And two turtle doves And the partridge in the pear tree On the twelfth day of Christmas My true love gave to me Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords of leaping, nine ladies waiting, eight maids of milking, seven swans of swimming. <laughs> Thank you. 
Christmas started a long, long time ago, about 2,000 years ago, in a small town called Bethlehem. And there were, in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, watching over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not. For behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, for you will find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men.
Christmas. Thanks for reminding me. You're welcome. Now, if you'll help me to get my strings untangled here and all set up so I can get ready. Oh, yeah, it's almost time. Has anybody seen my hat? My shoes. Who took my shoes? I have to get ready for Santa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm confused. Well, where does Santa Claus fit in all this? Santa Claus is the true spirit of Christmas. He travels all over the world, bringing joy and hope and peace to everyone. I can't wait for Santa to pick us up in a sleigh and take us to our new homes. The town will look so pretty with the snow falling and all the pretty lights. Hey guys, we don't like to interrupt. It's not snowing. <laughs> That must have been terrible. I mean, fuck off! Being away from home at Christmas is one thing. Being away at sea is another. <coughs> Christmas without snow? Ah, I give up all the gold for one tiny snowflake. I just can't imagine not being home for Christmas. <laughs> Don't cry again. I'm sure it'll snow. <coughs> Mr. Indian, would you look just one more time? Far away from home, on this cold and wintry night, sleigh bells ringing, carols singing, dreaming of a Christmas.
gift to give. But Dave, you have a gift. Where? Why, it's the best gift anyone can give. Yourself. Oh, but I mean a real gift. Well, I'm sure you'll think of something. Well, what's that? That means it's time to go. And all must be as it was before morning. But, but I just got here.
No, no. Back up! Amazing thing I've ever seen. Did you see that? <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Well, oh, you know what time it is. Well, I must have fallen asleep. Oh, you can tell me later. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know the big soldier, the one that can go forward and turn around in circles. Watch this. Yeah. <laughs> 